at the engagement, uh, I was going to use the song Once in Love with Amy, but through, uh, through hearing stories of all the times that that's been her song, I knew there just wasn't one thing right about it, and that was that title, Once in Love with Amy. That doesn't sit right with me. To me, it's forever in love with Amy. Amy had an awesome appreciation for a descriptive story. She read me lengthy passages from novels that painted vivid pictures of not only the physical surroundings, but also the emotion of the characters involved. She loved the imagery drawn into those words and by those words. Amy deserves such a story now, and I really think that we're hearing that story. She knows I will try and try to tell part of that story right now, and she's going to be so proud. <sighs> when we were cuddled in bed with another day behind us, and she was almost asleep, I would whisper, I love you, Amy. And if she needed reassurance for whatever reason that night, she would ask, say it again, Tom. She had me repeat that over and over, and she wanted me to use her name each time. Amy, I love you, was comforting her in a beautiful serenade as she slept many nights. Amy, I love you. In this world, every life is a journey. Each has a different beginning and a different end. And there are so many paths in between. And I am so happy to have had my journey match hers for the past 13 years and married for the last two. That is 13 years of happiness and sadness that we experienced together and with many of you. Years full of stories we actually lived. It wasn't fiction. I can look back to those years full of enduring memories because it could have been just 10 years or five years or one year that we had together, but we had our 13 years. Amy and I were blessed with that incredible time. We had so many moments of stupidity and genius. And I'll let you guess who's who. <laughs> and we laughed. Boy, did we laugh. Because to her, laughter is the truest indication of why we were given life. We had taken some evenings and talked about this unforeseen reality. It was going to be decades from now, but we talked about this, despite having no other reason than eventuality. We talked about the end of our lives. We talked about everything like the rings that I have to wear because she told me to wear them. We talked about the morning and even moving on. She was the driving force behind those conversations. And I stand here strong because of her desire for us to have those difficult talks. But I am still left with a void inside me. I will miss hearing Amy's voice and feeling her touch and knowing her compassion and making her smile and letting her smile rub off on me. That is the biggest void I've ever known but that void is not empty. Amy always looked at life like she saw it for the first time. A glimmer in her eye and a smile on her face exposed her overwhelming sense of hope. She embodied the pleasure of living life. We often took advantage of the freedom we had to explore what life had to offer. Together, we've created many great odd stories. And having odd stories meant we made our lives interesting. We sometimes sat together on a couch in our home and talked about those stories. We talked until we found the root of our happiness together. Sometimes it was just random luck. Other times it was calculated surprise, such as the Barry Manilow trip. 
Um, either way, we looked for the story that we would tell others. Amy loved how children really enjoy the life that they have. She loved to listen to them talk about everyday discoveries. She wondered why adults make life more complicated than it needs to be sometimes. Life is a simple gift, and she made sure that the two of us never forgot the innocent love for others that we had in the beginning of our journeys. Amy always gave however much she had to offer, no matter what the cost. Her final offer now provided us a great gift. In the days since her passing, the usual barriers in relationships have crumbled. I've been able to talk to so many people in my life at a much more meaningful level than ever before. She had wondered if we really believe in something greater than us, why are we so guarded against each other? Amy knew how important it was to create the little moments in life. She made sure we hugged a lot. The last thing as either of us walked out the door was a hug and an exchange of I love you. The first thing when we were back together was a hug and an I love you. And those little moments are now the biggest memory I have. They surpass all the other times because they happened regularly, every day, during all the time we had together. Right now, the natural reaction is to ask, why was she taken? And that's a source of sadness, and this is a time to be sad. And as we roam this earth, we will not be able to answer that question of why she was taken. So I find comfort in knowing to ask, why was she here? And that question has many answers, and those answers are happy to remember. I'm glad I wrote this down, otherwise we'd be here till next week. <laughs> Amy usually put together a lunch for me in the morning. She, uh, she loved to take care of me before I left for work. And, uh, she liked to include notes in those lunches, like you do with your children, and just a way to show your love. And every note put a smile on my face. I am so lucky to have kept some of those notes. And I know there's one sitting on my desk at work right now waiting for me when I get back so that I know she's with me. And every day at work, Amy would call simply to say, I love you. And she called at the end of the day to check in, wondering when I would be home. Amy told me she wasn't rushing me. She just wanted to have dinner ready for us when I got there. Wherever we were, we were there together. You are with me now, in my heart, my mind, and my soul forever. And I am with you in your spirit as it lives on in all of us. As I always uh, ended those phone conversations at the end of the day, I said, I'll be home soon. And she would always ask, how soon is soon? And sometimes it was longer, sometimes it was shorter, but how soon is soon? Amy, this time it may take me a while to get there, but I promise when I am close, I will call so you can get everything ready for us. Amy, I love you. Rest well. Thank you all for sharing in her stories. <laughs>